to DG going up against Talon. DG on the side of the blue. Meanwhile, Talon on the side of the red. <laughs> the band phase one has begun. Yeah, because he uh, might be a Florentino band here for... Yeah, because uh, DG, if they first pick, they might be banning the Florentino because... Uh, out of uh, in the hands of uh, a pro player that Florentino can take five men uh, into the fights here. But they are picking to ban the Alice first because of JJ also played the Alice. Mm -hmm. Because the Alice with the silence and the slows that his fits can provide, it might be a little bit scared for the team of DG to just proceed into the game. Yep, definitely a good ban coming in from the side of DG, taking away that Alice from Talon and I do feel like if they can they can either pick up the Rex from themselves or they can ban it off I do see another ban coming in from the side of DJ yeah because you're banning the Florentino and the Alice is really uh, showing that uh, DJ doesn't want to get invade or just uh, the nice aggressive coming from the team of Talon uh, banning the Kira is in the early game because we know Backdoor can play the Kira but if Backdoor picks the Elendor again might be not working for Team DG because of we know how Backdoor is not currently performed for the team of DG mm -hmm. it can just been picked uh, early into the early game here by, uh, might, uh, because of how mistakes that Backdoor make into the, uh, in the first day of this league Yep, definitely, and Talon will go for a second Batman, while DG will pick up that zip right of hit. Alright, batting the Timmy and giving zip to Melo here. Might be, uh, yeah, Melo plays the zip a lot of times, but giving the zip, uh, picking the zip for DG spot is quite known that zip is a support and can just poking so the side of talent might be going Richter or Ignis bit because uh, if Zip can just run away that's really good uh, that's not what talent wants so they are going to pick a Yana with burst damage and Richter who can chase down Zip uh, for the side of talent right now might be uh, they're already picking a Zip might be a Lindis jungle or Raz okay did you pick in the Raz first might be uh, Skrull might be uh, playing rest into the mid lane and Lubu for Team DG. Yeah, they are gonna lock down Lubu and rest right there for the side of DG. And right now, Talon, Hot will figure out what to pick since you're gonna take away my rest. I'm gonna pick something else. I'm gonna flex myself as much as possible onto you. Yeah, because uh, picking rest for Skrull is there. Yeah, I think that DG Skrull want to show uh, how, how to play rest uh, because of this really uh, good pick. And now Hak picking the Malja, respect the pick coming from Skrull because of in the first game Skrull picking uh, pick Marja into the mid lane, and now Hak is picking Marja to just respect Skrull in the uh, mid lane matchup. Yeah, definitely the swap of the. Heroes right there. Rise first pick on the first game itself for the, the side of talent. Meanwhile, in the second game, DG will pick up the rest themselves if they want to. Yep, the banning the Telenas. Uh, yeah, banning the Telenas might say something that uh, Team Talon Esport doesn't want uh, doesn't want to give uh, an ADC for the side of. Uh, DG, they doesn't want to have the uh, poke damage coming from the Telenas to just disrupt the composition coming from Talon Esports. Yeah, man. Talon Esports just doing all they can to flex onto DG. And DG right now have to figure out what to do because this is going to be the last game of the day for them yeah. before the next day. Yeah, picking the uh, banning the Kafni for side of Talon. Yeah, because of uh, I think for the team of Talon, they doesn't want uh, to have the constant damage that they can provide by Kafni and the Telnas. They might be going into a jungle Kriknak might be because of if Kriknak just doesn't have the burst to f uh, to feed down 
Kefni uh, might be Kefni just killing him. So another ban for the team of DG. Who's it gonna be? Doesn't have the damage. Doesn't have the uh, support. Also Ooh. banning the lum lumber for the side of DG. Buwan, who's gonna be picked to play into the AD lane? Richter might be support again to play by Jjax, and Yena will be played by Overfly onto the Dark Slay lane. Yep, definitely you would like to see what kind of team compensation coming from Team DG versus <coughs> Team Talon right there. The second phase of the pick, it is on the way right now. We would like to see what is happening between these two teams. The last two picks, you see a will pick coming from the side of Talon. Yeah, another pick from Muan, another pick onto the Laville MVP first game. So the second game might be a little bit uh, MVP also though, because of how Laville scales into the game. Uh, the damage and the ultimate provided by the Laville will just disrupt the composition coming from DG. They have the Lubu, they have the Zip, the ultimate stuns up the Zip, Zip can do anything. But Elsu has been hovered up by the team of DG here. Might go for a Morin. I don't think Morin is really good uh, because of uh, in the meta right now. Morin is not a side laner. The Hayate and Zephyrus has been locked down by DG. Esport completes the pick for DG right now. JJX, who's he gonna be picked here? Laville side lane, another jungler versus a Zephyrus. Might be a Yena jungle also, might also be possible. And JJX, uh, gonna be Zill again, might be. Let's see what will be the last hero for the side of talent. Will it be the seal that we have seen in the first game? Or oh, are they gonna pick the Yes, they are gonna lock down on the creek neck and will be played by Happy. Yeah, as what I say, they're banning the Kafni and the Telonas to open up the creek neck for Happy. Because, yeah, they're picking the creek neck. If uh, for the side of DG, they have the uh, Kafni, they might. If not, the drone drop doesn't connect for Happy. Happy might be a burst down by Kafni into the late game here. But you can see the Marja pick, uh, the Richter pick, and the Crick Knight might be a Wombo combo because they can play a, a really bit aggressive in the early game because our Richter can just roam up in uh, in the jungles of DG and also Marja has the damage into the early game. Crick Knight can snowball early. So breaking the Crick Knight, the last pick for Talon Esport is really good for team of talent but yeah they're facing a tanky composition coming is zip zafis and lubu they're using how that could not with scale into the early game versus that kind of tankiness from the side of dg yeah definitely for the side of dg it's very very tanky right there but let's hope that it will be enough for dg to hold on to this for a draw so right now we will be starting game two. DG going up against Talon. DG will be playing on the blue side. Meanwhile, Talon will be playing on the red side. They are going to game real soon. Any moment right now. Yeah, Overfly uh, respecting the pick uh, of the Yena onto the first pick of DG here. So yeah, lots of respect pick coming for DG and Talon for the Skrull uh, flexing the rest. Uh, before onto the first game that hard play the rest uh, they switch down hero into the mid lane so much of respect you can see how into the mid lane JJX trying to open up a, a vision for the team of DG here uh, trying to see where is the startup of the Zephyr stride right on the red side or on the blue side so giving the information for JJX uh, to give the hug and Moan just steals one sal salamander for the team of uh, DG Yup, definitely right there. Talon just play a bit of the meta, playing a bit of the formula they have in mind. And having everything reset as normal for them. I can see JJX right there coming in real fast and real hot. Yeah, Melo is trying to reset uh, a creep because of uh, putting, uh, try to put aggressive or pressure onto the mid lane because of uh, just going to give backdoor a little bit space just going to uh, farm up here Skrull and Ha going to the Jjax with the dashes trying to secure one kill but Skrull has the dashes to just run away yep definitely a real real good come 
playing style coming in from the side of talent, but right there, the rotations are coming in. The drone drop from Happy doesn't even hit Skrull here. So look at the three man people from DG Sport. JJX trying to give aggression to Melo. Just doesn't want Melo has the upper ground. But the back door here has been caught up with the damage coming because JJX and also Happy. The drone drop doesn't even hit. And Zip Angry just going to just pick Melo and give some defense uh, buff for, for back door. Yeah, definitely a good save coming in from Zip right there for Melo. Saving his own teammate. Right now, two players is alive and healthy in the middle going up against Talon. Meanwhile, there might be a rotation coming in from JJX. Yeah, because see how uh, JJX plays, they, they covered up the river because the Skrull is uh, a little bit one to get inside Huck's uh, brain because they're uh, giving the aggression coming from Skrull because in the uh, first game, Huck plays the rest really aggressive and the second game, DG Skrull played the rest also a little bit aggressive but you can see how happy Huck and JJX makes the, uh, makes the rotation really make really good doesn't uh, even give DG Sport know that they are going to take down the, uh, this Abyssal uh, because of Melo already has been locked down by the Richter. Yeah, but right there on top of the lane, almost going down for Mammon right there. And Mammon do want to go back for a reset. Yeah, because of J-Jack is overextend right now, but, uh, but the stuns coming from Melo doesn't even hit J-Jax. Because uh, you can see double uh, JJ use Richter uh, the second time as a support. So if you are watching this, there are no global ban applied in this first uh, in this tournament right now. So the backdoor drone drop, happy, trying in trouble. Just drone drop onto the backside here, going to reset some damage here. Mellow is in trouble, but the backdoor going in with the Bakun Eye Blitz coming from Ayep doesn't have the damage here. But Ayep secures the kill onto Muwan. Happy is trying to chase down Ayep, but the damage coming for Ayep should really be online into. A Early game here, pushing down the op. Uh, the IF is in trouble. Ooh. Double kill for Happy, but the JJX trying to run away with the dashes for Vibe for the Richter. But the double kill coming from Talent Spot, uh, just straight by one kill for DG. Yeah, finally DG getting one kills onto the bot against Talent right there. And since they have not got one kill at all from the first game against Talon. Let's see a replay of that fight. Yeah, you can see how Melo just have, is really low, pushing down the uh, Arctic up here, doesn't want to save Skrull. But you can see DGI with Kuna Blitz secures one kill for the team of DG, but has been chased down by Kricknuck though. Didn't know Kricknuck has the uh, burst damage you can provide onto Mammon here has been caught up with the drone drop and to Mammon beat the Arctic up has been pushed down with the ultimate coming from the Levins stun down backdoor but the Skrull might secure one kill onto the top side right now but you can see backdoor is just alive but turns the table the Turns the devil, Mammon also been dead here. But Kuna Blitz on to the bottom side. Laville has been killed. One for one trade coming from both teams here. But one tower has been secured for Team DG Esports. Yeah, DG just putting everything onto the line. Going up against Talon and finally getting one objective. He's getting one towers away from Talon. Meanwhile, Talon do have some deficit of losing its teammates but they are not that worried about that because they have oh, set their mind onto okay, something Okay, here the drone drop again onto Overfly but you can see if Overfly can run away with the flicker Ooh. onto Mammon here Mammon secures the kill onto Overfly but the JJX is there to just find a way for Overfly to just run away but look at the damage coming from Mammon just secures one kill for DG Esport 3-3, three to three, this score is level yeah, finally, everything is back to level. Fine. DG did have its uh, choice and positioning real goodly right there to pick off one hero from the side of talent. Oh, JJ is going in here, but what you could do, Mellow with the zip. Just going to secure, give the uh, defense buff to Ayep here. JJ trying to eye some opportunity onto the top side, going in to the drone drop. Here, oh. secure the Mellow. The zip is not alive. Yup, Zip right there, been taken out, and right now they are back to the formula right there. And Hub killing off Aya real easily, and they have going back and forth. They are still going on into the killing spree 
five kill already two in the lead back door onto the top side overfly with the aggression that could be the damage coming from overfly secures his life and secure his tower also but you can see uh the quick now is already there is chasing down the zephyrs onto the bottom side here drone drop Woo! i think up has been pushed back draw is not going to be alive yeah back door right there being sacrificed to the side of talent so talent right now they are gonna reset all of their skill before for before the next clash happen yeah we can see how mellow is being caught up a lot in the dg gameplay here we can see the uh yeah we get it the the aggression coming from talent is what denies uh, DG Esport gameplay right now with the, uh, the support Jjax, support Richter is giving space for Happy to just uh, snowball into the early game giving the uh, vision or the upper hand into the Dark Slayer in the early game. Yeah, definitely DJ right now. I have to do something about this right now but you can see Overfly going in for the pokes onto Mammon. Mammon is real, real low but it is able to survive but needs to be a bit more careful. Yep, the goal gap is kind of widened away here. It's three kills uh, to uh, the gap of the three kills. Talon Esport is trying to just snowball ahead with the quick neck and uh, going to find a way. J Jack is going to be in trouble with the damage coming for DG. Drop oh. drop happy. He's going with the J Jack with the ultimate just going in. What the damage gun doesn't even connect for the team of Talon. Just want to secure one kill. Overfly onto the Mammon here with the Woo. ultimate from Mammon. Doesn't have the opportunity to survive that jump. Yeah, look at how Talon is playing. They have to set their mind on to the objective right there. But Happy is oh, very, very close. Happy with ultimate coming for Loveville. Secures back door. Happy is happy with that. Uh, with that result, with the ultimate coming for Loveville, just stuns that Zephyrs. Yeah, looks like Talon is back to what they have been doing in the first game itself slowly but surely dissecting the side of DG and DG needs to find a way to deal with this. Yeah, Happy is trying to cry away, just going to drone drop here. One hit Ooh. for Talon. Happy just going to be death into the Dark Slayer here. But you know, DG is arrived onto the scene here. But Ultimate coming for Marja doesn't have the... Uh, that already have the harass. Just trying to push DG away from the uh, from the jungle side of DG uh, owns. Yeah, definitely DG needs to defend that jungle real, real goodly right now because Talon is so easily and brave to walk into the side of DG jungle and look at the tower, the objective, how concentrated is the side of Talon. Yeah, we can see how into the uh, talent esports have the upper hand. They had the Drakes. Now uh, they might release into the mid lane here. So DG Sport really known how to defense because of uh, in the first game he they also defense onto the second game they also defense. Well, in the first game they have fifteen deficit of kills, but in this uh, on the second game they have three kills. So that's a really good uh, positiveness coming from team of DG. They, they actually they need to provide or they need to learn how to just uh, deny the objective gameplay coming from Talon Esports. Yeah, DG has to figure out a way, a solution to the equation right now. Because if they can't stop this Talon, look at how are they chipping the tower slowly. Yeah, the Drake is known to take down towers. So now mid lane, they got one, another one towers, five towers for the side of Talon. And only one towers with DG Esport already taken down. So this is, might be a double lane push for the side of Talon Esport. They are going in with ultimate coming for the JJX. Melo is in trouble already low with that ultimate. Melo is going in with Mammon. Oh my god, it might be a wrong move coming from DG Esport. Melo trying to give some buff here. They're going in, but the damage coming from Team Backdoor is not going do the cut for Team Talon. They have the damage, they have one tower, but the counter attack for DG Esports is way too late to take down the team of Talon Esports. Yup, Talon really, really brave walking into the side of 
DJ taking down one tower. They did lose oh, to Oh, Jack in trouble. It might be dashing away, but on to the mellow with ultimate uh, deep roll here. But the JJ one hit for JJ. If the Mammon secures a kill onto JJ, they have the upper ground now. They need to just. Uh, counter attack for the team of DG. They need to take down objective. But they doesn't want to give Talon Esport more space. Boy, Talon happy is not happy with that. Okay, Ooh. the ultimate is going drum drop. It's my way deep back what? door has been taken out with the ultimate of that Lovil has going in here. Oh. Jax with the ultimate. Uh, man oh man here gonna take down. Uh, uh, they going to take down the bottom tower also with. The mid lane here for Talon Esports. Yeah, but real, real good segue coming in from the side of Talon. But Talon has the set on objective. Take down one tower. Only two towers left for the side of DG. Two towers which is situated at the bottom lane itself right, right now. Look at uh, Talon. They are going to take down the Drug Slayer here. Putting the Drake onto the bottom side. I think DG might going in here, but... What could happen? Talon just chucked down the Drag Slayer uh, far too early because of the damage coming from the Kricknack and the Lovit is already in the brink of late game. Yeah, Kricknack and Lovit right now just scaling out of proportion for their damage. Almost 10k goal lead for the side of Talon and right now. DG. Yeah has to reset everything back, has to figure out a way to deal with this. Yeah, they're going to just playing a little bit aggressive here. JJX trying to find a way to end this game here. For the comments here, Coffee, thanks for the compliment. Mamon is trying to just uh, clear up the way, but the damage coming will overfly just want to scare us down Mamon here. They need to take down another tower. They need to bring the, uh, the super minion into the mid lane here. So the damage... They need to secure or to close down this game a little bit too early. If they bring this game to more into 15 games, DG might make a comeback. Yeah, right now DG trying to do all they can to hold on to that. What is left only for that is one tower, which is going to be the bottom lane, final tower right there. Yeah, trading some damage here, Skrull and Hawk into uh, the bit lane uh, hero here. But uh, Drake and the minions already arrived onto the bottom side here. Might be a clash onto the mid lane here. Drone drop uh, already pressed by Happy here. For five man people onto the DG, onto the last tower to survive. They might go to force ultimate coming from one. Hawk is going to run, going to go in with the ultimate coming press with the hard back door is going in. But the drone just secures one kill to back door. But the damage coming from team DG Mammon here is really give trouble for the team of talent. Hawk is in trouble with the optic up has been pressed. Mammon secures the kill into Hawk. Scares down talent to just go back home. It's 55 seconds to. Dark Slayer, they need to wait to take down one tower from DG. Yeah, definitely a very, very deep dive coming in from the side of Talon Esports. They did so much, but they were unable to take out that final tower. For oh, Happy side. is alone onto the bottom side. Scroll with ultimate secures one kill. Happy is not happy with that with the trade here, but one no kill from DG Scroll here. DG Mello is in trouble trying to secure Mammon backdoor and Mammon two versus three with the damage and the defensive item that backdoor and Mammon have. They might take this trade and bring ring Ooh. down the damage into Scroll. Scroll might be dead. Mammon and backdoor trying to kite down, but look at that quick that secures one kill into. DG Skrull, you are not going to run away. JJ has backdoor, is trying to fight one on one, but the ultimate into backdoor just want to mini stun. It does oh, give no. a headache for the team of DG going to run away with. with. They have the minion, they does not have the minion. They need to push top side oh. here. Backdoor is only one alive. The death from buff secures one kill. Hawk is in trouble, but backdoor instead has taken his own life. Yeah, right there. DG just have thrown away the final opportunity. As you can see, the car has been slowly and surely been chipped off by Talon Esports. It is just too easy. As you can see how is the player reacting to the side of DG. Talon Esports just did what they did. The formula works for them.
Yeah, because I'm picking the zip for uh, DG is really working because of how DG, uh, how zip can save and give it the defensive buff for side of uh, DG Esports itself. So yeah, it's giving a hard time for Tele Esports just to secure or to close up the game because uh, the zip is really a core uh, core hero for the side of DG, giving the uh, opportunity that DG have to counter attack for talent eSport. Because yeah, we can see DG won the fight onto the bottom side, but they make a mistake. They stayed uh, too, too long yep. uh, for team of talent to just counter attack them. They wait the crit net to be alive again, just kill down a uh, Skrull. Uh, because yeah, they, they win the fight, they bring you can see how the mistakes coming from M1 and Backdoor. They just mm -hmm. bring three man people from Talon to Skrull. Skrull is just trying to uh, recall back in the bushes. Yeah, definitely. It is a unsuccessful game for DG. Because I can see DG has lost both games for day one. They will not get any points onto the lake itself for day one, but they will try harder in the following days in the lake itself. And yeah. congratulations mm. to Talon. Yeah, congratulations also for DG. They need to uh, try to improve themselves throughout the league. You can see how the trades rise versus in Marja into the mid lane, uh, giving how uh, Skrull plays really well with the rise versus a Marja hop into the mid lane. So give it the, the respect pick, the respect ban. Uh, I think DG really woke up into the second game despite they have 11 kills. Mm -hmm. From the first game, they doesn't have one kill. Yep. So yeah, DG is trying to, they evolve into the game. So they learn how to play versus uh, Talon Esports. And after this, who 